Plus a cute little cache. Unfortunately, um, the log, the log sheet has rotted. Um, there's no way to sign it. So I'll, um, of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna list it as found, but I'll, I'll send a picture to the um, cash owner just for his records or her records. That's disgusting. Yuck. Stinks too. Um, I didn't bring any uh, extra log sheets with me, but I did have a little piece of paper in my pocket. And I always bring some Ziploc bags with me. So I'm going to stick this in as a uh, temporary log sheet. So maybe the next person can sign it too. Um, where I am right now is kind of like, uh, there's an American military base. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, as I say, uh, there's, a, there's an American Air Force base right here, and um, what the problem is with geocachers, they come here uh, to Korea, they're temporary, and they go back and they, they forget either to archive their geocaches or to um, pass them on to somebody who's staying in Korea. And this situation, I think that's what happened here, is this is an American who hid this, and he or she is gone. Maybe. We'll see. Um, very rarely do owners of caches respond to things I send them, like questions or, or comments about the cache. Um, I let them know if, if there's something serious with the cache. I rarely get a response back. I don't know why. Maybe they've lost interest. Maybe they died. I don't know. You never know. I mean, you really never know. Somebody could have could be dead. Somebody could have been dead for years, and you'd never know it. It's not like anybody's going to report to geocaching.com. Oh yeah, my uncle was a geocacher. He's dead now. I don't think that happens too often. Anyway, I'm going to put this in, and uh, I'm going to go back the way I came. This is the last one on this route. Um, I'm going to try to go back the way I came. And uh, there's some on the other side of Highway 1 called Weird Rock or something like that. There's a few of them. Get a few done today. <sighs> yeah, when I was setting up to come out today, had all my stuff lined up. But every time I get ready to leave the house, the cats act up. So I've got to calm them down. i got to get them squared away. Make sure they're taken care of. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm, I always, when I, whenever I leave the house, I always think it's, there's a possibility I will not be coming back. Not because I'm running away, but because I'll be, I don't know, in the hospital or dead. But, so I always make sure they're, they're squared away. I forgot to put in my, my water bottles. I'm about ready to pass out from thirst. I've stopped feeling thirsty. That is a dangerous sign. <sighs> I gotta get to some water fast. I'm out here, I guess this is, I don't know, what is this, barley, wheat? I don't know what it is. There's a lot of it. <sighs> um. Some of you know my bike. Let me introduce my bike if you don't. That's my bike. It's a, um, that's a Hyosung Mirage V Twin. Um, there is, I can't find any manual per se in English, but um, I have a question. I have a question. Um, the idol is too high. Does, can anybody give me like a tip what I might do for this kind of bike to drop the idle a little bit so it doesn't idle so fast? If you know, I know some people know bikes. 
and you know that kind of stuff. And if you saw a bike like this, you would you would know where to look to uh, start changing the idle speed. Um, maybe you don't know exactly, but you would kind of know where to point me. Um, I, I don't even know where to start. So I, I looked online a little bit, and everybody's got really nice modern bikes, and they talk about the idle speed. They don't have uh, old clunkers. So I don't know. But if you if you know if you if you have an idea where I might look on this thing to change the idle speed, let me know. I smell gas all the time when I'm riding too. I don't think that's I don't think I'm supposed to smell gas. But uh, there's no dripping or anything. It's not burning gas. It's just the smell of gas fumes. Well, I don't smell it when I'm riding. I smell it when I stop for a traffic light or something. Then I smell it. Do I smell it now? No, only when the engine's running. Currently. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I might go out again tomorrow.